To make a clothespin trinket box, you need three clothespins, glue, and cardboard or foam, and a scissor. The first thing you need to do is take your clothespins apart. And you can do that by twisting the base and taking the wire hinge off. You might want a grown up to help, but it's pretty simple to do. You just take the ends, twist, and the hinge will come right off. And you want to do that for all three of your clothespins. We won't need the hinges for this project. Your next step is to take just three pieces of clothespin and you're going to make them into a triangle shape. So you're going to place one piece for the base, take another piece and make it the side, and take the third piece and make your triangle. And once you have your triangle the way you want it, then you glue all your pieces together. You can use craft glue, you can use hot glue. Glue them together and then let this piece dry. Once the glue is dry on your triangle, you're going to take three more halves of clothespins and you're going to glue them directly over the three that are here. So you're just going to put a line of glue right along the outside. And then you want to make sure you line up your clothespins just so, so that it goes right over the top in the same direction. And that's one side. And then glue the second and the third side. And again, let your glue dry, especially if you're using craft glue. You want to make sure that your glue has time to dry before you move it too much. This will stay together really well once the glue is dry, but when the glue is still wet, it can be a little bit fragile. Okay, and press your pieces down, and then let it dry. Once your glue is dry, your box is pretty much finished. If you want to make it deeper, you could use another set line of clothespins and make it a little bit deeper, but this works great just to be a small trinket box. Now you want to cut out a piece of cardboard to go along the back. So to do that, you can just trace around the inside of your triangle to get your general idea and cut out right around the edges, maybe a little bit wider so that it'll fit on the back. And then we're going to cut that and glue the cardboard to the back of our box. Once your cardstock or paper is cut, you simply glue it to the bottom, turn your box over, and here's one that's already glued. It has a nice base so your things won't fall through, and it's a perfect place to store something. You could make a few of these and give these as gifts, and you could certainly paint all the clothespins or stain them before you start gluing them together. Make some trinket boxes and send us some photos. Mm -hmm.